ladies and gentlemen, we'll come to these superheroes shortly, and I will explain all. But before I do, wow, it's fantastic to see so many people here in this beautiful room. Thank you for coming. Um, and thank you for coming so far as well. We have people from Tokyo and California and New York and Golders Green. It's incredible. Thank you so much. Um, but Chief Rabbi Rabonim, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, seriously, a heartfelt thank you for joining us this evening. And it really is a very special evening where we celebrate World Jewish Relief and all that we do. And we also commit, with your help, with all your help, to redouble our efforts going forward. And I'd like to say a special thank you to our guest of honor, Rory Stewart, who spoke so fantastically this evening and so passionately. And R Rory, I was going to say you spoke well about the importance of supporting vulnerable people and of philanthropy, but like you, I'm also so incredibly proud of my wife. Friends, we meet in challenging times for us, for the United Kingdom, and for global Jewry. And we know that here in the UK, we have faced, and arguably still face, the challenge of hard left anti-Semitism, a doctrine built, in my view, on a cocktail, a toxic cocktail, of hostility to Israel, association of Jews with egregious capitalism, and importantly, a sense that we, British Jews, are no longer the victim, no longer vulnerable. And therefore, this form of racism, anti-Jewish racism, does not really count as racism at all. To that I say no. And we stand together to say no. And in the US, we know all too well that our cousins face the challenge of far-right extremism and anti-Semitism, toxic, violent, and destructive. And our thoughts and prayers remain with the communities of Pittsburgh and Monzi in New York. And we stand shoulder to shoulder with those communities and the 25,000 people who marched across the Brooklyn Bridge to say no hate, no fear. <laughs> and beyond our community, we see the fear of the stranger raising its head again around the world, the other, the different, and the person to blame. To that we say no to. We, rooted in Jewish values, reject all forms of racism and prejudice. So my message tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is a very simple message. Look out, not in. It's what World Jewish Relief has done for 87 years. Look out beyond our own families and communities to those in the wider Jewish world less fortunate than us. Look out beyond our own to those struggling in the face of disaster. And let's avoid the temptation to look in, to turn in, and to focus just on our own lives, our own security, our own fears. The temptation to look in is there. The temptation to take care only of our own and to deny our obligations to the wider world is there. I recognize it. I hear it. Often. Friends, we must come together and reject this temptation. Of course we take care of our own. And here in the UK, the Jewish community is blessed with great institutions who support our most vulnerable, care for the elderly, support for the sick, take care of our security. But to argue that our duty stops there is wrong. It is simply not Jewish. The Jewish response is to look out. As others turn in, we turn out. To face the most vulnerable in our global Jewish community and the most vulnerable anywhere in the world. And World Jewish Relief embodies this spirit more than any charity you will find. And I really believe this, we really do. We were set up, as many people in this room will know, in the worst of worst conditions. During the 1930s, when our people suffered unspeakable hardship, death, and destruction, we were not prepared just to look in. We, our pioneers, 
looked out. We looked out to Nazi-occupied Europe, rescuing 65,000 Jews by 1945. And who knows how many owe their lives and their very existence to that brave decision. Generations on generations of families. Not forgotten, not alone. And so it was that 75 years ago, in August 1945, ladies and gentlemen, we looked out once more. We, then as the Central British Fund for German Jewelry, looked out and saw children, Jewish children, who had survived the camps. Auschwitz, Dachau, Buchenwald, Belsen. We looked out. We took action. 75 years ago, this organization, under the, under the leadership of Leonard Montefiore, arranged the rescue and rehabilitation of 730 Jewish boys and girls. We raised one million pounds, and that's around 80 million pound in today's money, and pressed the UK government to allow those child refugees into the country. And they came. They came in three waves, settling first and famously in Windermere. And for these boys, it was a return to humanity, a return to life itself, and the chance to build a future. Ladies and gentlemen, as you've seen, some of the boys are here tonight, accompanied by some of World Jewish Relief's Young People Committee. So Ben Helfgott, rescued. So Ben Health got rescued age 15, having survived the ghettos, the camps, and the death marches. He went on to represent Britain at weightlifting in the Olympics, a phenomenal achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Harry Olmer, who... Harry actually made it onto that plane in 1945 at the last minute using someone else's name, as many of you may have seen in last week's brilliant BBC film, The Windermere Children. And Harry said of his time at Windermere that it was there where the return to humanity began. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have Harry Spiro. Harry survived horrific atrocities and went on amazingly to run his own factory, employing hundreds of people. He says that Will Jewish Relief believed in us and brought us back to life. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys, not forgotten, not alone, an inspiration to every single one of us. We salute you. But the credit for their incredible life achievements is all theirs and theirs alone. Yet we, as World Jewish Relief, are rightly proud of the decision this organization took in 1945 to look out and not to look in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is precisely what I ask of you tonight. World Jewish Relief has a mission. We have a mission to eradicate Jewish poverty for good, to ensure that Jewish aid supports those most vulnerable in the world and to show the world that the Jewish voice is a global vo voice rooted in the obligation to look out beyond our own, to take action and to welcome the stranger in our home. And that mission is tough, but we have great partners to help us deliver, from small community organizations to global players. And let me pay special tribute to the Joint Distribution Committee, represented here tonight by Asher Ostrin. Thank you for coming. And we have a fantastic team led by Paul Antacconi. <laughs> a 
and supported by some wonderful lady leaders, most notably my friend Linda Rosenblatt. I have to tell you, without Linda, not only would tonight not be possible, World Jewish Relief would not be possible. But let me say a word too about our wonderful patron, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. We are truly... We are truly blessed by his interest in our work and the leadership he brings. And tonight, I am absolutely thrilled to announce that His Royal Highness, just two weeks after returning from his trip to Yad Vashem, has extended his patronage of World Jewish Relief for a further five years through to 2025. For that, we are truly grateful. However, His Royal Highness is the first to look ahead to the work we are yet to complete. And I share his impatience and his ambition. We still have thousands of homes to repair in Eastern Europe. Older Jewish people living in unsafe, crumbling homes, often without running water and basic facilities. There are hundreds of thousands of survivors and older Jew Jews who rely on us and only us for support. People like Rosa, people like Simeon, people like Clara, who you will see shortly in our film. Without us, without World Jewish Relief, the survivor generation would have nowhere to turn, no safety net. It is our most basic duty to ensure, that, to ensure they live their lives in comfort and dignity. And let me tell you too, there are thousands of Jews of a younger generation in countries like Ukraine desperate to earn a living, but lacking in the skills to do so, we can and we must put this right. There are refugees too here in the UK who will not find work without our support. We can and we will help them help themselves. So today, in the depressing face of growing racism, prejudice and fear, let us look out, not in. Last year, and the year before, and the year before that, I stood here and thanked you for all your generous support. Let me say that again, thank you. But without your support, we would be nowhere. Let me say this too, however. Today, in the current climate, we all have a duty to step up and to do more. World Jewish Relief has the focus, the capability, and the spirit to get the job done. So as you watch tonight's film, I ask you, humbly yet firmly, please do more. We have to look out, not in. So step up to the next level. Give more than you gave last year. Become a World Jewish Relief benefactor or a partner. Help us to live up to the true spirit of the boys, not forgotten, not alone. Thank you.